wanted to look and see what is going to be the outcome of his declaring the national emergency. And what I got is, you know, the ten of coins. You know, he's going to take that money, you know, and he's sending a message. He's sending a message to not only his base, you know, the base, also Republican Party, etc. You know, they were really not for his doing this for the most part. But he's going to send them a message. He's going to do it anyway. He did it anyway with his rambling speech that he made. So what's kind of coming out of it is this is a gift, a gift of a way to end this thing, really, in the, in the end. So there, because he's declaring it a national emergency, he's gifting them a way to put an end to this. More than likely through the courts. We'll, we'll see. But uh, yeah, gifting a way to end it. Um, challenges to this, build a case to make it stronger. And we have the courtship. So this is telling me making things stronger between the Republicans and Democrats that are working together, you know, in the Senate and in the House. This is a way to bring them closer together because they are seeing what's happening with Manafort, what's happening with all of those that were engaged in these things that they are getting jail time, okay? Things are moving. Things are coming down. Flynn, Manafort, all these ones are getting jail time, imprisonment. And they know that, you know, Trump again is just talking to his base, securing his base and his own failed ideology. He's not listening to um, the genuine stats about what's going on. And, and now that they see again, imprisonment is coming, you know, uh, things are falling down around them. More and more Republicans at this time are gonna start jumping ship uh, and not be willing to just carte blanche do his bidding with things, except for Mitch McConnell. Now, Mitch McConnell, that turtle man hasn't gotten the message yet. <laughs> Turtles are slow. What can you say? You know, he's, <laughs> he's slow. He's old and he's slow. So it's going to take him a while to get the message. You know, will turtle man ever turn on Trump. Let's look at that while we're doing this. Will Turtle Man ever turn the tide? He's still hanging for him in the, you know, he's maybe counseling him not to do it, but when he does it, he's still there to protect Trump. So let's look. Will Trump, will Turtle Man ever finally turn the tide against Trump. Well, he likes his cushy lifestyle. Will he ever turn the tide? Yeah, he likes, he, he's drunk on power, okay? He likes his cushy lifestyle. And we have here high honor. You know, he's the head of, head of the Senate, so he's just drunk on power, drunk on that. He's, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's, I don't think it's so much about Trump, but he's got 
other income behind the scenes. He's out for himself. Okay, he's out for himself and the unexpected income. So when it's telling me unexpected income, this isn't what he's earning from his position in the government. He's got other money coming in. He's out for himself. He's got other money coming in from somewhere. Yeah, the queen of coins is making him a wealthy man. I still say he is maybe on the payroll for Mercer, for the Mercers, okay? Because it's some woman, either that or it could also be Mother Russia or something, but uh, someone with a feminine thing has got him on the payroll. Oh, yeah. So he's, you know, in this place like a gift, like Caesar on the throne. <laughs> he's like Caesar, throw him to the lions, you know, <laughs> the emperor. You know, he just thinks he's above it. It's a gift. It's, it's, this is where he's been for a long time, and he thinks that that's going to continue. Okay. So he's got the gift, he remained there, stay the head, quid pro quo, something's going on there. Um, again, he's on big payroll. Mm -hmm. But he may be having to defend himself in court eventually. Something may come out about Mitch McConnell as well that he has to defend himself. Okay. So we'll see. Uh, it doesn't look like a turtle man's going to turn on Trump anytime soon. Again, it looks like he's looking out for himself. He's on somebody's payroll. Quid pro quo doesn't want to lose his position. He's drunk on power, drunk on the thing, and he's taking orders from somewhere. Okay. So it'll be interesting to see eventually what comes out about Mitch McConnell. Okay. Turtle Man and the Prez, huh? Okay. I'm going to leave this here. Have a great evening.